Hi everyone. One of my viewers asked me about these paper clips and um, I haven't made them myself. These three particular ones that I have in my TN. So I've got one attached here. I've got, um, let's see, one attached on the back of this and then this one here. So I bought these on Etsy and they were shipped all the way from US and this was at the time when I was just starting with TN and I was kind of researching how you can make it look a little bit prettier and what you need for it so this is back then and since then I realized that they're super easy to make yourself and I wouldn't really pay uh, that money to um, to buy them so here is a bunch I made myself and I'm going to show you today how to make them now the other thing is you might want so I've got here a very basic paper clip um, kit or set you can go on Amazon and find some fancy ones and I would recommend to get a bigger one rather than a small although that depends what kind of ribbon you want to use so if you want to use something like that you can absolutely go with a small one if you want to use a bigger and a kind of more thicker um, ribbon then you won't be able to really I mean you could if you just tuck in these bits then you could I guess pull it up a little bit more to expose more of the uh, paper clips so you would need to tuck this ribbon bit that holds it um, but I think still for this type of ribbon a bigger paper clip would be good uh, again this type of ribbon the rest of them are good even even the bigger like a wider one but this type of organza ribbon still you can get away with a small paper clip because you can just gather it like that and expose the clip uh, to hold your paper but the ones that I bought you can see that they come on a big um, paper clip so if I compare the two and yeah you can buy them like in black white gold rose gold whatever takes your fancy so I will leave the links below and uh, go have a look so that will be easier for you to find what you need so they are super easy to do what you could do as well um, the ones that I bought they have a little bit of hot glue here so you could do that to make sure that they won't uh, untie and move around so that's a nice little finishing touch but basically what you need to do is go to some sort of haberdashery section and look for some fancy looking ribbons I picked out a few that I have here I used to work with ribbons so I've got these kind of black and navy and these creams and gold kind of colors so this is the color scheme that I used to work with uh, a lot of them are black as well and that's why I don't really have any other colors but if you go and look there are loads of fun colors that you can match to your uh, style so besides the paper clip and the ribbons you will also need a lighter and I will show and explain why you'll need a good pair of scissors and this is pretty much it so I'm going to show you on this paper um, on this like a cloth ribbon today this came with um, illustrated faith so I didn't even need to buy it sometimes um, you can get packages that have some sort of a ribbon on there so save it and use it if you want you can use it without even going and buying anything so this is the one that's quite thick I just wanted to show you a couple of different styles that I have so this one is not very I mean it's flexible but it's thicker uh, of a uh, fabric so to speak and they are harder to work on on a small paper clip but great for big ones this is the organza type so it's very very flexible very thin and I've got two different well I've got more but I just wanted to show you the ones that I made are two different widths so I've got a thin one and a large one 
or like a thicker one and you can see the difference uh, on these they look very pretty so if you went and bought some um, like lovely colors these look very very cute so I'm going to show you on this one actually because I don't think I've done it so I finished all of them with the um, lighter and this is to prevent frilling um, and make them look a little bit more finished I've done it on here and I've done it all on all the others so what you do is you hold it like that the uh, ribbon and and then with the lighter just very very quickly because organza uh, goes very fast and sometimes you can mess it up so just really just gently touch it try even doing it from a distance rather than coming in too close so this was a better choice you need to really um, kind of try doing it in different ways to figure out the best way but that is it so then I also have this other type oh yeah this one so this is a silky one now these are uh, very easy to work with but they also move a lot so this type of a ribbon, ribbon I would really advise to put some sort of hot glue there to to make sure that it, it's not going to come undone so the final type that I have to show you is this this is a velvet ribbon and it's very very nice and it's got like thickness to it um, and it feels really pretty so they look gorgeous if you went and picked some nice colors they would look really lovely so here is the thing you can do so you can do a straight one like that and you can cut it in a straight edge you could cut it into one edge like that or you can open it up and cut it at an angle as I've done here and it will be like that but because it's a silky kind of satiny finish it is not going to stay open it's likely to come together so this one stays very happily open like that again you could cut it straight or you could cut the um, ends to the to an angle this one what you do is you fold it you fold these two put them on top of each other fold them like that and cut them and that's how you get this edge and that's pretty much it so the organs as well will most likely want to move a lot because it's very airy so you might want to add some hot glue on there okay having said all of that i'm going to show you this bit so i've got here um you could iron it if you want to but i'm not going to so i'm going to use this crinkly bit like that as the neck here so i don't really mind if it's cr crinkled up i'm going to actually measure it so it ends up on that neck okay so i'm going to cut the size of the ribbon and you go, you see that this one is slightly different because it's got frilling and the one i have here has also frilling and it looks quite pretty so I'll show you what to do for that so that's a different type and what you're going to do is get a paper clip hold it with the single loop rather than the double loop hold it like that take whatever ribbon you're working with line it up so it's kind of folded like this okay line it up and then what you're going to do is roll it up here to loop it through first of all once it's in what you're going to do is straighten it up like that and then with your finger stick it in the bottom right there at the bottom and then push it through and what you will see is when you just start pulling it and not sure which which side you're doing just pull it this is the back of it and this is at the front you may need to help it a little bit um, so to do that you can just use your scissors and just push that fabric up so you expose the expose the uh, paper clip once you've done this what you can do now is decide what you're going to do do you want it 
just straight like this or do you want that lo lovely looking bow so what you do for the bow is tease out this side and turn it around so it stays like that and you're almost done what you're going to do next is tidy up all these kind of threads here don't pull them because if you pull you might end up with something you don't want so basically to begin with just tidy up these bits and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to frill it some more so by frilling I mean taking out some of these from the side and pulling them out and then cut them off and then you get this lovely frilly kind of edge and to do it on the top pull out the top bits like so and you get a lovely frilly top and then here you do the side ones like that and you get the side frills pull them right to the bottom here and then cut it off so it looks nice and finished and then check your other side so this one is perfect I don't need to do anything this one I do so I'm just going to do the top one like so and then the side ones if they're sticking out a couple of them then you can do that if not then just leave it depends also how long you like your frills to be I like mine to be quite long and then just clean it up and there you go again if you wanted a shorter one what you needed to do is just to cut it and in fact I'm, I am going to cut it so I'm just going to cut it to this size here like so and I'm going to show you again how I'm going to do the frills but I'm going to make sure I cut it in a straight line again for the frills I'm going to take these ones from the bottom or from the side and pull them out and you have your frills again so you go from a straight edge to a frilly one do a couple of them at a time because sometimes if you grab too many they're not going to pull nicely so that's it if you wanted even more you can pull out some more like that so that's your paper clip done in literally seconds and for free so I'm going to show you what that is going to look like right next to this one and you would never be able to tell which one is the one you did and which is the one that was purchased <laughs> so I hope that will save you some money and you will enjoy making them so thanks for watching and see you soon